Hello everyone and welcome to the Star Wars Vault. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to see new Star Wars videos every week. Hey guys, today I want to discuss why Obi-Wan spoke to Rey in The Force Awakens when she touches Anakin and Luke's lightsaber. We all know this scene when Rey goes through a nightmarish set of visions after touching the weapon, and at the very end she falls back as she hears the late Jedi say, Rey, these are your first steps. One thing I do like about this is how J.J. Abrams combined Ewan McGregor's studio line with an edited audible from Sir Alec Guinness, really capturing the complete character. But what I want to know is why? Why Obi-Wan? Before Episode 9 came out, many people believe this would lead us to finding out that Rey is a descendant or family member of Kenobi and the bloodline. Yeah, how does that sound? Rey Kenobi! But obviously, that no longer is the case because she is actually Rey Palpatine, but... Uh, Sorry, excuse me, Rey Skywalker. But anyway, without her being a Kenobi, it makes me wonder what this truly represents. Now, of course, we do hear Obi-Wan again in the midst of all the other past Jedi in Rise of Skywalker. It even ties in the very event I'm talking about as Obi-Wan says, these are your final steps, Rey. Rise and take them. Which is very cool, and it gives some weight to this event in Episode 7. Like I said, however, because of all the other Jedi speaking to Rey, it doesn't fully single out Obi-Wan and why he alone spoke to Rey through the lightsaber. My final conclusion on this is the fact that Obi-Wan simply carried this lightsaber longer than anyone ever, including the guy who crafted it, you know, Anakin Skywalker? You see, Anakin only had this lightsaber for a little over three years, pretty much the entire Clone Wars era. Once his master took it from him on Musafar, Obi-Wan had possession of it for nearly 19 to 20 years, up until he passes it on to Luke in A New Hope. Then Luke carries it for about a year, until he loses it in his duel with Darth Vader on Cloud City. So, because of all this, that is why I think you have Obi-Wan in The Force Awakens. I, I definitely could be wrong, but that is the only way it's going to make sense for me. I want to get all your thoughts though. Is there any other reason why Obi-Wan spoke to Rey? Do you think there is a possible connection? that maybe we don't know about between these two? Whatever your thoughts are, make sure you post them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my video today, please hit that like button as it really helps the channel. Be sure you follow me on social media. Those links are posted in the description below. But that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. So until next time, may the force be with you.